Kajabi versus Uscreen. We're going to be looking at key features, the pricing, and which one I would choose. First of all, what is Kajabi? Kajabi is a platform where you can be launching your online course, coaching program, membership podcasts, and more. What is Uscreen? It's a platform where you can build an all-in-one membership for creators. Let's take a look at the key features. For Kajabi, you can be building out, like I mentioned, online courses, coaching, podcasts, memberships, and communities. It really depends on where your business is right now, allows you to understand more functionality of what kind of uh, business you're trying to build. For example, if you're building out courses, you might have questions on the design or what it would look like. Uh, those are things to consider, but Kajabi allows you to have the basics of any LMS, a learning management system. When it comes to coaching, the same thing. If you're looking to have a uh, functionality where people can choose a time and a uh, different packages for people to uh, choose from before they, they get your services, you can be doing the same thing with Kajabi as well. With podcasting, this is interesting. You can still broadcast to all the major platforms that you want, Apple, Spotify, all those things. But if you want to have a component where people are paying you monthly for an exclusive podcast or maybe an extended cut of it, you can be doing that with Kajabi as well. And they also have different options for a membership in a community. What I would say with this is it depends on the functionality that you need for the membership and the community, how do you want the community to relate to you? What would you be looking for? And what's the format that you're uh, looking for uh, when you're considering Kajabi? Now let's take a look at Uscreen. Uscreen allows you to do six major things. You can have the mobile and TV app, live streaming, video CMS, uh, customer management system, video monetization, marketing analytics, and community. So let's go one step at a time with them. When you're using Uscreen, you can have your own membership and a mobile and TV app, depending on the tier that you get. In the later tiers, the more expensive tiers, you can have access to the, uh, the mobile and TV apps, but it does allow you to have a branded experience. And especially if you're looking to get specific sponsorships or different tiers, that's another way that you can bump up if you're working with a uh, with a potential brand that you have your own mobile app. You can be doing tons of things with push notifications and things like that where you're going to be able to have more eyeballs or ones from your community being pushed to your content uh, versus if you don't have your own app for your for your brand. So you can have that function. You can also have live streaming. Say for instance, that you're going to want to have an exclusive experience for your members and you want to go live and only ones in your community can communicate with you and subscribe to your, your live stream, you can be doing this. Uh, so it allows you to monetize your live streams via pay-per-view uh, paywall. And this allows you to engage with your, your most, uh, you know, all your fans, but in a different way. And they feel really uh, taken care of. And it just, it's a more intimate relationship with your audience by having that extra tier for people to interact with you live, all of those different things. Um, and again, you can push, do push notifications to go live. So people will know and be able to tune in and all of those things. It mentions uh, a live event countdown, an auto record to video, uh, VOD, which is video on demand, pre-registration page and live chat. Next, you'll be able to have a uh, video content management system, so a CMS. And imagine if you're creating a library of different content and being able to have it curated in a certain way, look and feel like Netflix, you're gonna be able to do that as well. For video monetization, you can have it in a couple different ways. You can have them rent your content, uh, pay-per-view, so it'd be a, a selected content that you're having, or they can subscribe and and have access to all of them or whatever you would like. You can bundle it in tons of different ways. Again, imagine this similar to Netflix and how you want people to uh, experience your brand in different tiers or different packages. You can be doing that as well.
Now, the th thing that sets, I would say, Uscreen apart from a lot of different platforms is their marketing tool set. So you can be looking at having landing pages, upsells and downsells, uh, subs uh, subscription tools, gift cards, um, tons of different things, marketing integrations, email automations. And this really helps you as you're growing instead of having a huge team where people are canceling and you're gonna have to have them reach out. You can already have all of this automated where you can be giving different discounts if they decide to cancel so that you can retain uh, different members and things like that. You can have all these different things uh, right there with, uh, with Uscreen as well. And I believe it also has the components where you can be having an affiliate as well. More on that later, I'm gonna check on that but I'm pretty sure you can have an integration with that as well. I'm gonna check that, don't quote me. I'm gonna check that as we go through this. And then the last component as well, uh, where they're really branching out, Uscreen is building, allowing you to build your community. And what that looks like, I would say it's similar if you've used something like Circle or something like that, um, you're gonna be able to really take advantage and build a really nice looking and curated community. And there's actually a video that we've done talking about building out your community with Uscreen. There'll be a link down below in the description and there'll be something that pops up right around here that you can take a look at that video as well. But this allows you to build conversations, uh, allowing people to have their own profile and avatar. You can engage with them in your own personal community. And, and the reason you would want that community to be building up is again, you're trying to get them from social media where you don't control that. You can be uh, you know, banned, you can, your account can be lost, all those things. And they're gonna be in your own community where you can set the tone and really communicate with your fans and build that relationship. So those are the main features of Uscreen. Now let's take a look at the pricing of Kajabi. For the pricing for Kajabi, you're gonna be looking at the annual ones would be 119, 159, and 319. And then if you do monthly, it's going to be 149, 199, and 399. So let's just take a look at the basics of what they have. Uh, we'll look at basics first. So at the basics, you can have 0% zero percent uh, transaction fee. So no matter how much you sell, they're not taking more additional amount. Uh, it will be 0% for you. You can have only three products, three funnels. So that's something to keep in mind to get started. You would probably only be having your signature or flagship product with only having three, right? Three funnels, that's important to know. So as the person's coming through um, your marketing funnel, you're only gonna have three set up, unlimited landing pages, unlimited marketing emails, 10,000 contacts, 100 active customers, one website, one admin user. So this is really helping ones that are just getting their business started uh, to have their key products or services right here that they're gonna be offering. So that's 119. For the growth program or the growth tier, it's $159 a month annual. The main difference is the products. You're gonna have 15 products, 15 funnels. The contacts go up to 25,000. Active customers go to 10,000. Still one website. Now, here's the thing, 10 admin users. That'll help as your team is growing, you'll have an, uh, you'll have an option for that as well. I'd like probably in the documentation where it's going to outline defining what a active customer is. Could be how many times they sign in in a certain period of time. Um, something like that. Let's take a look. I'm going to do a Google search real quick. Kajabi define active customers. Yeah, so active customers are users that are that have logged into their account and registered activity, completed a course, opted in, done some kind of thing in the past 30 days. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be, this is something just to keep in mind, depending on how active your users are, it might bump you into one tier or another, depending on how active your audience is and how they're using, uh, you know, using the platform, things like that. And then pro, it's going to be 100 products, 100 funnels, 100,000 contacts, 20,000 active customers. Here is where you can have three websites, 
25 admins and also adding a custom code editor. Interesting. Oh, I would like to mention in growth, the, the difference I would say that sticks out to me is having the affiliate program. This is really big because you're going to be able to now have your biggest fans turn into advocates for you or what we call as sprouts for them to get other people on board. So that's a huge thing. Um, you're going to have advanced automations, uh, 24 seven chat, and then ability to remove Kajabi branding. So, um, to get to one for oh, you, got to get to the growth plan before they don't see Kajabi branding, just something to keep in mind, depending if you want to streamline your branding and for them not to be, uh, you know, distracted by Kajabi, but that's something to consider. And again, it depends on your audience. I haven't seen when you're having something where it, it depends on how much it sticks out and what people are doing, but I haven't seen a huge difference. But for streamlining the brand, not having anything there, that's something to consider. Okay, so we looked at the pricing for Kajabi. Let's look at the pricing for Uscreen. So for, for Uscreen, we have two different pricing. For monthly, it would be $199 a month, $599 for pro or plus, it would be custom pricing. And then we'd be looking at $149, $499, and then plus custom pricing for, uh, excuse me, custom pricing for plus. So let's just look at growth and pro. So if we're looking at annual, that would be $149. So it'd be $149 per month plus $1.99 per paid member. That's something to consider because as you grow, you're going to be charged more, right? So this is going to be as you grow, they're going to be taking a cut as the membership grows as well. So that's something to consider. You're going to have zero, um, zero percent fee on one-time purchases. So zero percent on one-time purchases, Netflix style catalog. We talked about that live streaming up to one hour, a hundred hours of video storage, one admin. It allows you to have a membership. Oh, you can have membership plus. Okay. One onboarding session. You can have member, uh, membership analytics, marketing animation, uh, marketing tools and automations, flexible pricing options, except credit card and PayPal, custom domain. Okay. So one. I might do full features in a second, but let's just look at the, the basics. Okay. So that's 149. For $4.99, the difference I see is they're only going to charge $0.99 cents per paid member. So it drops when you go to pro. So the more you scale, once you hit that threshold, um, either how much you're making or if you start looking at the economics of it, then you would just go into pro, depending on how many members you'd have, right? Um, that's just something to keep in mind, but there it's cutting in half to $0.99 cents per uh, paid user right there per month. So this is for serious creators growing a robust community on mobile web. What do you get here? Um, now this is something to consider right here. You can have a 0% fee for one-time purchases, Netflix style catalog, live streaming up to 10 hours, community up to five channels. That's awesome. Okay. So now you're going to be building out that community at that level. Um, Let's see. So I want to know at the growth level, how many do I still get the community, but it will be one channel. That's something uh, that I would want to know as well. Um, you get your own mobile app. So this is something at uh, $4.99 a month. It already comes with the mobile app. 150 hours of video storage, three admin users. You have the plus, uh, the membership plus community, three onboarding sessions, email and chat support, dedicated success manager. And then for the, you get everything plus member and content migration. So if you're coming from another platform, they'll migrate it for you. Shoppable videos, Zapier integration. So that allows you to scale with more automation, things like that. Third party integrations and affiliate integrations as well. So I mentioned before, I think it comes with uh, affiliates. You can be doing that on the plot on the pro plan for you screen. Now let's look at the detailed breakdown of this. So this is compare, compare all plans in one place. 
So standard, you're going to be able to do a lot with the video and that quality. Um, you're going to be able to do offline viewing for the pro. That would be the main difference. Again, you would have the app. Um, you won't be able to have the TV app unless you go to the plus plan. In-app subscription purchase, you can be doing that, which makes sense in-app. You don't have an app at the base on the growth plan. For the pro plan, you do. So that's why you would have it. Offline, secure offline viewing, custom playlist, cast and airplay makes sense. So they'll be able to watch it on TV. Mobile community tab. So I'm inclined, I'll have to get some clarification, but it looks like the member, the community side would only come until pro. And then it mentions security, full data ownership, all of those things, all of the different plans. Encryption, simultaneous login sharing protection, SSL certificate, malicious bot detection and rejection, which is all good things need to have. You'll be able to have instant pay payouts, excuse me. So Stripe allows same day payouts, use screen payments and PayPal, which are optional require a 30 day hold on payments. So there is an option for that. Okay, customization for websites. Okay, uh, powered by, it's only for pro. So we looked at for Kajabi. It was on the same tier, like their secondary tier. Uh, that's when you can remove the branding. Okay, then the rest is talking about like developer tools and support. So this is the breakdown of the main difference on pricing. The reason I, I like to go a little bit deeper on this is this allows you to see what functionality you need and it allows you to determine what pricing tier would be right for you. So that's why we spend a little bit more time in the pricing. What kind of features are we looking at when we're comparing the two and all of those things? Now that we've looked at the key features in the pricing, which one would I choose between Kajabi and Uscreen? And the answer is, it depends. No, really. It really depends because you have to look at what are you trying to do? What kind of business are you running? You have to decide where you're going to be going because these two platforms, although on the surface it might be looking like, oh yeah, they, they're pretty comparable. Under the hood, there are tons of different things that I'd be looking at and seeing if it would be right for me. For example, Uscreen, the one thing that stands out and they really are above a lot of different platforms would be their their marketing tool set. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen creators or brands try to have another third party um, integration with marketing tools and it's confusing. The funnels are all messed up. It's really hard to um, think about or change when you're trying to do deals. You screen, it's all in one. So if you're a small team and you're looking to be fast and nimble, that's something to consider with the marketing angle of what you're trying to do with your business. That's something that really stands out. Also too, if you're thinking about something more of a Netflix style and having a VOD or a CMS, and that's really important for you and community is secondary or something like that, that's something to consider. The flip side is for Kajabi, although they also have things for communities and memberships, and for courses, there's things to consider, you know, what am I, am I thinking that I'm a, an LMS, a learning management system first? Am I doing mainly courses and then I want other aspects with communities and memberships? That's something to consider because if I'm doing head to head, like with an LMS, am I looking for, if I'm looking for the best LMS or course based platform, I wouldn't even choose Kajabi. Kajabi is great because it has a lot of different functionality if you want to lean into a couple of things. But if it's like going head to head for best community platform, I wouldn't choose Kajabi. If it was going to be the best, uh, you know, uh, course building platform, I wouldn't go for it. But it is a great solution if you're a brand that does a lot of different things and you have a podcast and all of these different things, that might be something to consider. On the flip side, you know, Uscreen is making a concerted effort to now be focused on a membership platform. You've, if you've been checking out my channel, I've been talking about Uscreen for over two years. Their, their messaging has shifted. Now they're having the team build out a lot of uh, functionality with 
membership and they're going in that direction. There's a lot of things, but I would say the heart and soul and what really made them stand out when they first started with, with VOD and having that capability and having a great interface where uh, it, it, it's, it's a great portion of if that's what you're trying to do. So I would say, number one, write down on a piece of paper, where are you? What are you, what are the functions, the features that are important to you, but also on the same piece of paper, write down how are you making money? <laughs> that's really important because a lot of people will be like, well, I want to, you know, have a course and have a community and do all these things. But like, where's the money coming from? Where are you? Are you just getting started and you have an audience on social media and now you're building? Um, do you already have an established business where you are selling videos and things like that. Now you're adding a layer of community and maybe Uscreen would be the best option for you. Write down those kind of things, put them down in the comment section down below or email me, let me know, and then go from there because these are two good options, but it really depends on where you're trying to go. And if people want me to like rank my, my favorite LMSs, my favorite community platforms, let me know. I might do that in a, in a video coming up. But head to head with Kajabi and Uscreen, this really depends on where you are and what kind of business you're running to find the best platform for you for your business. In the comment section down below, let me know where you are, what kind of business you're running, and if this was helpful, what questions do you have? And I'll see you in the next video.